Hello everyone, Misty Vale here, and we're back with some more Ranch of Rivershine. Um, today we are going to be doing some more breeding, and I've got this lovely filly right here. I'm waiting for her to grow up into an adult so I can breed her. Um, we have a couple of new horses. We've sold some horses. So let's go take a look, shall we? Now my Cremello mare that I raised, I sold. Um, the Palomino foal that we got the last time that I was aiming for, this is her. Isn't she lovely? I do want to breed her, but she is still a filly, so no breeding yet. But we can, and I love this, look, she's got three white or grayish hooves and one dark hoof. And I think that is a new feature-ish, newish feature. Um, because it used to be all the hooves were the same and people were requesting um, like the striped hooves or the lighter hooves like these that happen in real life. So we are going to probably do some training on this one and the dark buckskin filly that you just saw and try and do some more breeding with the older mares. We've got this little guy here. This is our flaxen palomino who will be sold. Um, I bred her to the Black Bay Stallion I had, who I have now sold, and he will also be sold um, because I already had one Black Bay, but I don't want to hurt a Black Bay's. No offense. So he's a cutie pie. We'll give him an apple. We're going to clean his mama's stall, even though he has that gorgeous little snip on his nose. And this little lady will be sold too. She's got two more days, and then both of these guys will be sold. And this was a wild mare that I picked up from uh, the Pine Forest. And uh, yeah, so we've got her stats up pretty high. She should fetch a fair price. And uh, we'll see where we go because there's always new, new horses, either at the auction house or somewhere else. This is a new mare that we got. And I absolutely love her look. She is a great smoky cream to buy now. And, or he's a he. Actually, this is not, this is one that I bred that grew up. And he's got the, yes, I know you're totally adorable with that weird stripe. Um, I did mark him as sale, but I'm kind of thinking maybe I could breed him and see what we get. He's got low stats. So I could train him up a little bit. But uh, yeah, he's pretty cute. Um, I did sell his mother. Um, his mother was Lush Tornado which was the light bay uh, tobino. So I did sell her because I, I was either getting lookalikes to her or lookalikes to the stallion, which I know is kind of how this game works, the genetics and stuff, but still it was just like, let's get some more fresh blood in here, yeah? So normally I don't spend time doing, you know, the stall cleaning because who wants to see me Take a poop for 10 minutes. Now this mare is one I also got from the wild herds and she is pregnant and she is quite lovely. Her stats are kind of eh, intermediate um, but uh, I did not want to sell her because she has a very very unique pattern to me. Maybe not to some people but that one white ear just gets me all the time. Um, and she has produced several nice babies. And also, oops, I can't do that with her with the brush. Let me get rid of the brush and I'll do the pointer. So this right in here type of pattern on her face is really cool to me. And with her long mane and tail, she's super cute. Um, and then this girl produced a pretty much a clone, <laughs> almost a clone. So we got a chestnut roan, and Mama's a chestnut roan Sabino, and Dad was the black bay stallion. So this guy is also marked for or girl is marked for sale. So she, when she grows up, she will be sold. And the, you can make some money doing this if if they have like she has a little bit higher stats. So when she grows up, she might be six seven thousand. I might get ten. Just depends. You can sell them as soon as they become uh, grown up because they're not technically grown up, but they are grown up. And you can see that the season is now winter from the last time. I did do 
several days of reading and, and some training and stuff, um, trying to get through some things and just make it a little bit more interesting, perhaps. Um, but I definitely, 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 definitely want to do some more breeding because I've been having fun with it um, and sleeping two or three days and then coming back and seeing what we have. I said, this girl's not going anywhere because no matter what, I really like her. This is our new stallion. Oh, she's so cute. Look at that booty. Um, this is Water Bramble. He is an Africa Dun Appaloosa. He is from the legendary tier. And I know it's behind my, my head here. You can't see it. His speed is 64, endurance 62, jump 76, and flex 76. So I thought that was pretty good and worthwhile because he was a rare, more rare coat. Um, so I wanted to get him and breed. And I think I have bred the to black tobino mare that we just saw. I think I bred her. I am thinking I'm going to breed him to my from my Smoky Cream. This girl, who is also a wild mare, uh, she is a Golden Cremella. Now, breeding an apricot done app to a Golden Cremella, I really want to see what we got. That's going to be something cute, hopefully. Kind of a mix in between would be nice. Cremello Appaloosa, maybe? I don't know if that exists. Maybe maybe in the game, maybe not. But we can find out. So, and she's really cute, too. She's got two white socks on her back legs and that badger stripe down her face. And then she's got that cute pink nose. So she's adorable. And I don't want to get rid of her. And the Palomino full uh, filly that I have is her baby. So we've got a couple empty stalls. We have one. This mare is pregnant. Don't think I have anybody outside. Let's go check just to make sure because sometimes I forget what horses I have. Which can be very distressing <laughs> when you don't realize it. Like, where did so-and-so go? Oh yeah, 10 minutes later, I sold them. Damn. I need to start writing this stuff down. But it gets hard to remember. Just open all the gates. And I'm going to see if I can breed our new stallion, Water Bramble, to one of the new mares. Or one of the older mares. <laughs> new, old, whatever. I'm going to see if I can breed them. Whoops, come here. Okay. So we're going to trot on. Trot. I want there to be a like a speed run for this character. Okay, so we've got Water Bramble. He is currently our only stallion, and it looks like we're gonna try this cross, even though they only have a 67%. And you can see her stats. Well, you can't see 24 speed, 26 endurance, 22 jump, and 13 flex. Kind of, eh, kind of icky, but we're gonna pair them up. There they go. Hey, nice kids. I don't want to take anybody to the vet. All right, and then I think we're going to go try and train some of our babes. Just to get them, get their stats up, because the better stats you have, let's do this girl. So she has 13 speed, 14 endurance, 18 jump, and 20 flex. Oh, okay. And I also want to show you, actually, let's do blankets. I want to do a cherry western blanket. Saddles, I want to do, no, not that one, the black western saddle. In case you didn't know, there are different tacks that you can buy from George. These are some of them. So you can go western or you, oops, you can go English. I don't know what this one is, or you can even go packless. If you just want to ride on your saddle pack, you can do that too. If you want to ride with no bridle, you can do that too. Actually, I'll show you. We're just going to do saddle pad. Oh, wait. We're just going to, yeah, there we go. We got the saddle pad. It's going to make us look like we're an amazing rider when we're really not. But I will show you. Back the view out. You can hit our alt button on our PC, and that's what it looks like. How cute is she? We're going to take a screenshot. 
I know that sounds just horrible. Oh, we got to change our direction. But it looks like I'm still holding the reins. It looks kind of odd. And then you hit Alt again. And whoops, no, we don't want to gallop. We are going to go do... Whoops, wait, where was I going? I was going to go show you something different. I was going to go show you, there's a little place, and this is going to be patched out. You can bet your sweet bibby this is going to be patched out. But for right now, if you want a place to train flex without having to go in a circle and have your finger on the W or whatever key you use on the controller, you can go behind your retirement pasture. And you see these trees here, you're going to hit an invisible wall. <gasps> look. Oops, not counter. But look, we're barely moving, even though we're inside the thing and it's all wonky and whatnot. And it looks terrible because it's very disconcerting. But you're still trotting. You're still trotting and you still are doing flexibility. And you can move it back and then it goes like that. I'd rather do that, but for some reason then it just goes back. So you can just whip in between and you can see the little bar going down. And I know this is going to get patched out. Some people might call this cheating. Maybe it is. I don't know. Um, until it's patched out, I'm not considering it a cheat. I'm just considering it it's a weird glitch, it's a weird area, and I'm going to take advantage of it. And when it's patched out, it's patched out. See, I'm getting a points in flexibility. So she already has 20 points in flexibility. So that's an interesting little twist. And apparently from the Discord, there are several places like this. I do not know the other places. I know there's two others, I think, on the farm. Actually, let me check her... I think I wanted to go speed. Yeah, she's only 13 speed and she's 22 potential now. So we're going to go to the Lupine Meadow and the speed track and go there. And I will see you when we get back. See you in a minute. Okay, so here we are. We are at the Lupine Meadow speed track, speed training track. So we're just going to go around. I think it's going to be one and a half times before her energy runs out and I just gave her a pair because we cantered and yeah all her energy went down <laughs> so we'll get a little bit of a boost and uh, then we will go back and uh, pick up the next horse the other Palomino filly and we'll work on some stuff for her and maybe do a race or something um, I almost wish sometimes that your stats would go up as you race but I understand they don't but it still bums me out it's a bummer, but what you gonna do? Not much. <laughs> yeah, I think it's only gonna be about one and a half times, and then we'll hearth back, as we would say in World of Warcraft. We will hearth back to the main uh, gate and go pick up our next pony. One more time, maybe two. That bar is getting so low. Oh, we might make it to the next one. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. One more spot. One more spot. Ah, oh, we got it. Okay. Yay! Woohoo! Okay, so now her speed is 28. So that's pretty good from, what was it, 13 or 14? So yes, her speed is, is up. And uh, then we have to work tomorrow on endurance and on jump. Uh, flex she still has all this so your foals and your wild horses come with 100% potential but that will not get you to 100% of these um, it may get you to the intermediate and then once the inner once that's done once your potential is zero the only way to get it back is to do your races get your statues up and use your statues each area statue has a different um, as a different gift like the one in town will give you 10 percent potential the ones in the other three areas like this one will give you like five yes you you heard me talking about you that's right you will give you five percent of like this is speed if you were in pine forest it would be endurance so i think it's five percent i could be wrong don't quote me i'm just saying so we're going to hearth back to the entrance and that's the statue. Well, you can see it's glowing. I haven't really been doing a lot of races. So 
we have to fix that because the only way to get to a horse to 100% is to use that mechanic. There is no other way. You cannot buy potential. You cannot give them a pop-in, give them a food or anything else that will increase their potential. At least not at this stage of the game. How do I get off? Eat. <laughs> Sorry, I've only been playing 10 other games. I forget the buttons. I get so confused. Okay, come on, Pony. So I really like how the towns change and the seasons and stuff like that. It's super cute. This music is just the best. I think there is a thing where you can buy the soundtrack for this game. And that would just be amazing if you want to put it on a loop and just let it go. Because it's just so soothing. Even the racing music is good. I mean, my goodness. So this is a cute... I love this color. I've always been partial in real life to buckskins. Um, Pelominos, I, I love all horse colors, but buckskins always for some reason, especially the dark ones like this, like the sooty, I've always, always loved that. But I was never able to get one, which is fine. Maybe I should get Smoke. No, I'm still deciding whether, whether I want him. What do you think? Yeah. Want to let me know in the comments below? And if you're feeling froggy, like and subscribe. But tell me if you want me to keep him as a stud along with that other apricot done. And uh, let me know. Yeah, and we're going to go take this girl now. Um, we will do her tack. Because I did not put any tack on her. I think she would look better like that in the English gear. Where's the bridle? western and eloise also also my dears eloise is working on leg wraps she is working on those um, protectors that you put right here and she is working on different bridles like a one-year western bridle so don't think this is going to be it she is working her butt off trying to get some stuff to make everybody you know happy and sassy and everything else. So, all right, where are we going? Where are we going? What are we gonna do? What are your stats? Um, she, uh, she needs endurance, that's 12. Whew. Endurance is bad. Okay, and I don't know, I haven't seen any effect if you give, oops, let's try. If you give them the grain for like endurance, if that increases the stat, I don't, I want to say I don't think it does. I could be wrong, but when I've done it, it hasn't seemed to go up measurably, but I have not like written it down in a statistic way and measured the differences. I'm just not mathematical. And frankly, I'm too lazy. <laughs> That's the God's honest truth. Frankly, I am just too lazy to do stuff like that. I'm curious, but not that curious. So, we will see, and then maybe tomorrow there'll be some more Pine Forest Wild Horses that we can go look at and round up, because I think that would be really cool. I love going to look at the Pine Forest. The Lupine Meadow, yeah, that's cute. Um, Crystal Bay, they sometimes have some cute ones, but Pine Forest, they have the Palominos, they have the Creams, they have the really pretties. <sighs> Just the ones that I really like, but we'll see. We'll see what we can do. And who knows? All right, I'll see you when we get there. <laughs> okay, here we are. All right, so let's check again so that I can have a reference. Her endurance is 12. Okay, and we have not given her grain. So here we go. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Gotta make sure 
Coming around the bend. Oh my god, that's it. That's the last one. We gotta give her a pair. We don't have watermelon in the game yet. Pear is the highest one you can get, which is like 80%. Alright, so, ready, set, go! We're gonna go around the other loop. I know, I'm making it way more dramatic than it is. It's really kind of boring, but at the same time, oh, I wasn't paying attention. Well, biscuit. So we gotta back her through this. She's getting her thing. I've totally spaced. I forgot about her energy. Holy crap. Go, girl. I think we might have. Let's see if it comes back just a little bit. Stop. Gotta get it back again. Go, 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 go. One more. Get it back in. Turn it back. Nope. Up, up, up. Here we go. Gonna walk forward. We're gonna trot until we get to. We're gonna trot until we get to the next one because we've got that tiny bit of energy left, and then we're gonna smash it. And she's gone. <laughs> get more. Smash it. <laughs> we got another point. Okay, so she was twelve. Now she's 26. Yes. Amazing. And I don't... Wait, did I give her a treat already? I did. Okay, sorry, girl. All right, so we are going to hearth back. Oh, why would you do that? Okay. We just dropped out of the sky. Come on, cuteness. Oh, I still had a tiny bit left. Ah, oh, biscuit. Well, that can go to speed. It's fine. It's fine, whatever. So now when this happens, when she is out of stamina, no races, no nothing. So we'll put her back in the barn and we'll... What do we do? It's three o'clock, we'll go to bed. We'll start, we'll, we'll go to bed for the next day and we'll see what we can do. I gotta check and see when the black tobino is gonna give birth. I can't remember. I wanna say it's three or four days. But then tomorrow we can also check on the other pair, the golden cremilla. Give them a little brushers. And this brush does build up their trust. The soft brush does. So the more you use that, the more you can lead them around. Like if you wanna lead them around while you forage you can do that um and the more races you win will also level up their trust so we're going to go back let's go see when she's due because i know you keep looking at your belly you're flexing two days so let's do this let's sleep two days disgusting i know Nobody wants to sleep two days. We'll come back to a mess in the barn, but we'll see what baby she has. And then we'll have some horses to sell. We'll see if the other pair is pregnant. And we'll go from there. All right. Be right back. We're back. Let's see what happens. No, we must have missed Jai's call. Darn it. All right, let's go see what babies we have. Or baby what the other horsies look like when they're grown up because they could be so cute yes i know you're oh my goodness look at you look at you how cute dark chestnut dun tobino so this is so her daddy is that new apricot dun out of this black tobino so we have an apricot done and a, and a black tobino, and we got a dark chestnut done tobino. Who's cute? You're cute. Look at the little spots. Look at the little pieces. Oh my goodness. The saucy little thing. Here, have a treat. <laughs> Fine, don't look at me. That mama's like, thank God. In real life, horses are pregnant almost a year. Not quite, but almost. So imagine carrying a baby around for that long. 
Okay, so we'll clean this doll, brush Mama, give her some food. Gotta brush them all because oh, that's so pretty with the sun coming up in the back over her head. Aww. Shall we screenshot that? Aww. I know I'm screenshotting and it's that annoying sound. I'm sorry. Now, because we slept two days, you can see her hunger is still only at 50%. So that's when I give the, um, the oats along with the Timothy. Because Timothy by itself is 50%. And the oats are also like 50%. So I will be back after I brush all these guys because you don't need to sit around for that. And then we'll go check on the pear and the fertility pasture and we'll see what if so if the little girl is pregnant. Right. See you in a minute. Okay, here we are coming back to the fertility pasture. And yes, she is pregnant. You can tell by the belly before you even check the gate. Yes, she is pregnant. Woohoo! Successful breeding. Now come here, children. Don't run away from me. Come here, Mr. Bramble. Eh, where's my cursor? There it is. <laughs> Sometimes with the snow, I cannot see my cursor to save my life. No, 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 little one. You come here. There we go. Okay. So those guys are in the stable. We had a successful breeding. And so now I am going to take, well, let's go take the Bucks King girl, Fresh Fox. Let's take her. We're going to go sell our two horses, the Flax and Palomino and her baby, um, the Black Bay. We're going to say goodbye and see how much they sell for. I was gonna say, where's where's what's her name, Madeline? But it's Sunday and she's not here. It's too early. Okay, let's go sell those two horses. There's like nobody in the auction house. One person. So this is what I do so that I can remember. As I put a little asterisk, you can put whatever you want, change their name to Sill or Sale or however it works for you. So Baby Cloud and brisk spark are the ones that we're selling silly sprout is that gray oh uh, fresh smoke excuse me fresh smoke is that gray colt that i'm on the fence of whether i want to sell or not so we're going to start with baby cloud he's listed right now at 5091 so we'll see what we get for auction maybe we'll get six he does have that cute little sniff right on the end of his nose so stinking cute but I don't need 10 million stallions. So let's see. Is he going to make six? It's so close. 59. Close enough. So for very little effort, I got $5,900 for him. Now, Brisk Spark is his mom. She's a healthy adult mare. Um, and I, she's worth 17. So maybe we can get 20 for her. This is the Palomino, the Flaxen Palomino mare. Because I did raise her stats up and I almost got all of her potential used and um, did win some races on her, I believe. If we get 20 for her, that's like a win because we caught her in the wild. So 20K, 20, oh my God, 21. Oh my goodness, 21.5. And we caught her in the wild. So we invested absolutely no money in her and got 25. Just by raising up her stats and doing a few races because I did not race her very much so that is that so we're gonna go back now I can do some beginner races with this one so her speed is now 29 because I think we were running um, endurance is 14 jump is 18 uh, Yes, you're cute. I want to be able to pet you. Yes. So we'll do the Rivershine Town and um, race and see what we get. And now, just in case you don't know, you can either do this race board from here in town or you can go back to your farm and pay for it to be built and do it from there. So we're going to do the town beginner and see... I apologize in advance for me spamming all my keys because you're going to hear it and it's going to be annoying. 
Maybe I'll put some music in to cover it up. So let's go. First place. Okay, so the more that we do that, that increases her stats and her price, and we get a little bit extra. So I can actually feed her um, right, pumpkin up. Oh, that the pumpkin is sixty percent, so that works. 